Bam. That's a weird noise that got stuck in from the last screen because there's a little bit of an audio video desync. This the whole thing. This isn't interesting. Welcome back, internet people. My name is Ryan, and today we are watching Mother 3 in the background while I talk about things that are not Mother 3. This is a fun cutscene. The legendary Noble Spittoon. Oh, Wes. Oh, you're so abusive. Oh, no. This makes me feel incredibly bad about myself. I am but a duster. I have a large head. I'm apparently very incompetent. Or, I only think I'm incompetent because you keep telling me that. Now I'm sad. I'm so sad. Um, let's read some things. The first comment that, I, that someone posted on the last internet people was Jacoby found a lovely lobster porn video to share, which I'm not going to splice into this video, um, because it's a little bit too sexually provocative. I feel highly inappropriate putting what I have deposited into my spank bank. Um, I feel very inappropriate rebroadcasting that. Um, which is precisely why I don't have a tumbler. Um, let's have a mother three right now. I guess I just go back to that, uh, that lovely dungeon, but with Wes, who is a fantastic, if not incredibly mean guy. Um, Aunt P asks if I can re-upload the last internet people, but just reading the automatic captions. I'm not going to re-upload the video, but comments regularly I've never gone. Let's do that. Favorite videos? What are your favorite videos? You like a medieval music mix. You love a lot of medieval music mixes. And Black Eyed Peas, thumbs up. Also, ooh, a bunch of Minecraft stuff. I'm going to get a good job on it. Etc, etc. Um, alright. What else we got here? Oh no, I closed the comments that I was reading. It's highly difficult. Everything is terrible. Alright. UK Striker was happy to say that, dude, that carpet monster is not a crocodile, it's a fucking street shark. <laughs> I knew it was totally a crocodile, although I think I'd see the recommend, or I think I see the the comparison. Let me see if I can grab a picture of a street shark. Oh man, the lowest resolution picture I could find. This is great. I'll just throw that in an unused corner. I never saw street sharks. I think I was I was just like right outside that age for it, like for me to have seen it on television. Also, I'm pretty sure it's not the sort of thing that pops up in Canada a whole lot. Um, because the only the only television that Canadians make, yeah, apparently, is children's television. That and Continuum, which I've mentioned on here before, but Continuum is great. Everyone should watch Continuum. It's also not that great, but it's really exciting when you're watching it and you hear the sound that, um, the sound for like traffic signals, where when you push the button, it makes the audible noise for blind people. You know what I'm talking about? Um, but you never hear that in American television shows, and I'm wondering if American like cities just don't have that. Is that a thing? Somebody, somebody post a comment and let me know. Where you live, do you have the buttons at like stoplights where you push them, and then it's like, do ba do you can go this way, blind person, vision impaired person, legally blind person, person that has a guide dog. Yeah, anyway, but no, but you hear that in Continuum, like when they're just on a regular scene in the streets. Why am I fighting, I'm fighting a, 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 a clay man? What is going on? It's a, a, this, this is a good game. Um, but yes, continue, television, Canadian television. Canadian television is basically that plus Corner Gas, which is a lovely, which is a lovely show. Um, and children's television. Like, chances are, if you watch PBS, you watch a Canadian kids show at some point. Um, yeah. Let's see what else we got. Um, Lee Weeaboo. 
just renamed himself, but he will forever be Lee Weeaboo. What a username. Um, stopped watching PewDiePie after he ruined Amnesia custom stories. 85% of all custom stories are just made for PewDiePie, so you can almost never find something legit. I wonder how much that happens, like, on the internet. Like, especially with something like Amnesia. Because Amnesia, you know, even though it was a pretty popular indie game, right? It never it never was super popular until PewDiePie started doing it. Especially, like, the custom maps and whatnot. I wonder if that happens with, ever with anyone else. I guess it wouldn't. I don't think anyone's ever had that runaway success that PewDiePie had. I wonder if people tailor terrible viral videos to be like, or to, to, to match Ray William Johnson. <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> like people make things that he can easily <laughs> stick a fart joke on or whatever he does lately. Oh, the pigs! The pigs killed my lovely friend. God darn it. Am I ever getting good at this whole fade out and oh wait, I forgot <laughs> to that I totally forgot to cut out that battle. I could fix that, but I'm not going to. Uh do -do 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 M2Y plays. Posits. That at the end of the day, if popular YouTubers started making interesting, innovative content, I think they'd probably end up broke. Feel free to replace YouTubers with musicians or filmmakers. Yeah, that's probably true. You gotta make you gotta make the thing that's easy to make, and you can make a lot of it, and that people, and that dumb people will like a lot. You know what I mean? You know what I'm gabbing about? You know, like who's who's a who's a popular musician that makes terrible crap? Um. I can't think of any. Probably Nicki Minaj. She's very popular. She's not very good. Um. But I should. You shouldn't say that because there's there's uh, there is some top subscribe people that do make good stuff. Let's look. YouTube top sub subscribed. You guys can enjoy this cutscene while I look this up. Because this is a good cutscene. Oh my god, One Direction Vivo is really high on this list. Uh, yeah. There's not, there's some not bad things on the list. There's, you know, there's some awful stuff here. Oh my god. Butt wiggling. I can guarantee that this butt wiggling is not any, uh... <laughs> this is not any top subscribe lists for YouTube. Jesus. I'm just, I can't stop staring. God. How is that so good? Christ. I think I need a shower. And a cigarette. Alright, what I, what I was actually, what I was actually looking for in this list of top subscribers was my favorite, my, like probably my top YouTube channel, my favorite YouTube channel. Um, community channel with with uh, Natalie Natalie what's her face, but she apparently isn't a top subscribed YouTuber, which is fine I guess. Now I'm sad. I was gonna be like I was gonna look at this list and be like, no, we got all sorts of great people. We got this person and this person and this person who are top subscribed. YouTube is actually not not a cesspool, um, but probably the best thing on here is I think. Um, Ellen DeGeneres is on this list. Uh, <laughs> fucking makeup channels. Lady Gaga, just for laughs, gags is a top subscribe channel on YouTube. What? <laughs> just for laughs, gags is the is the the worst best show I've ever fucking liked seen ever. For any of you who've never seen it, which I imagine is a whole lot of you, because I guess it's one of the top subscribed channels on YouTube. I had no idea. Um, Just for Last Gags is a um, 
Okay, first, Just for Laughs is a Canadian comedy thing that comes out of Montreal. Um, and it's mostly just like stand up comedians. Um, that, you know, Just for Laughs is like this festival that happens. A bunch of stand up comedians come and they tell the whatever, and it gets on CBC, and it's, you know, it's not, like, it's the sort of thing that people all over the continent, like all over the world, will come to this. It's a, it's a pretty large comedy festival. Um, I wouldn't say maybe it's the biggest. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. But it's it's you know just for it's just it's just whatever. Just for those gags, however, is like the ultimate weird Quebec humor thing. Um, it's like it's like candid camera. No one speaks. Um, or if they sp or if they speak, it's it's like dubbed over dubbed over with hammy music. But it's like people just like playing weird pranks. Um, so it'll be like, uh, okay, you know what? I'll just go look on the channel and find one. Oh my god, hilarious, right? <laughs> I like how I interrupted this cutscene where I'm getting a new character to show up. <laughs> like, just for laughs gags episode. <laughs> but yeah, that's like just that's just for laughs gags. That's that happens. It's fine. It's not bad. It's a it's a you know it's a part of our it's a part of our Canadian heritage. It's just for laughs gags. However. Just for Laughs Gags is the stupidest. It goes on, it lasts, it goes on for a half an hour. That sort of thing does not have a half hour of staying power. That, you know, the sort of thing where you sit through commercials to keep watching that. Just like how one might sit through commercials to watch Word on the Wind. Ah, oh, you know what? I should monetize this video and stick an ad right there. That would have been... A good idea. <laughs> yeah, anyway, no, just Rallis Gags is bad mostly because it's that for a half an hour rather than YouTube videos. Oh, I just realized why that is one of the top subscribe channels on YouTube. Is <laughs> because that is like. That's the perfect format for that. Um, yeah, so, that's fun. Just for last gags, apparently. Let's see, what else do they got here? Taxi pranks. That that was from a video I stole called Taxi Pranks. The video is ten minutes long. A deadly champagne prank. Screwing around. The, 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 the thumbnail has a, has a woman holding a screwdriver. And making a, like, mm, face. So what I'm I guess what I'm saying is everyone should go check out youtube.com slash just for laughs TV um, and watch just for laughs gags. <laughs> what even is this? Oh look at that. They have all sorts of YouTube channels. They have just for laughs. Uh, just kidding just kidding pranks. They got real regular just for laughs. There's all sorts of all sorts of good stuff here. I wanna subscribe to just for laughs. Their website apparently is ha 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 dot com, which is genius. Um, yeah. Anyway, so interesting, innovative content. The only one I can think of is Community Channel, and she is not top subscribed. And her videos are only like two minutes long, and she uploads like one of them every two months. Even though she says she'll be back in four days at the end of every one of them. Hey, look, I'm fighting a shirt and a piece of fire. Oh, and what's her face has a PSI power. Psi power. Is it PSI? Is it Psi? I don't even know. Um, that's fun. Takobi has uh, some criticism, which he criticizes, with Ryan. I've recently watched a new promo clip from your channel. You told me that honest criticism would be okay, so here it comes. Okay. A. Scene from Alien Noir, it would have been better in my opinion to include the immediate event before the accident into the clip, the part where you were playfully pushing the people in line with your car. Yes. I agree with you. 
However, that would triple the length of the clip. Um, th that's kind of the issue with all the clips, because I recently uploaded a new promo thing. All, any, anyone's watching this has seen that promo thing, because that promo video is like the most popular video I upload in the last like month or so, for whatever reason. Um, but the thing with all of the clips in the promo clip is just like, everyone had piles of great suggestions on what clips to go in there. However, a lot of the- God damn it. God damn it, brooms. Fuck you. Fuck you, brooms. Fuck you, brooms! God damn it! No. Okay. Um, but the issue with all of the all of the clips people were suggesting, the the things that people found the most funny, I guess, or the most entertaining, or the most representative of the content of this YouTube channel, also happened to be like also happened to have set up like they weren't like they weren't like one-liners. Like, so, everything, like, everything, would, like, if I were to have included three of, like, just average clips, they would end up, the video would end up being, like, five minutes, which would defeat the purpose of the video, which is to basically just get people to do shit. Well, at this point, that promo clip, I'm reasonably, look at that, look at that safe state I made, because I know there's a boss battle coming up and I don't want to have to go through those brooms again. Um, oh. oh, okay, great. Um, the, yeah, so, like, it's, it was kind of a, it was kind of a tough decision. You just, I just had to find stuff that was short enough, or that you could, you could kind of glean something, something from, which, which is why I'm kind of thinking maybe I shouldn't even have, just leave, maybe just leave stuff happening in the background. Um, maybe a slow motion. Maybe just alien noir slow motion cars crashing in the background. That's not a bad idea, actually. Um, and just not have like, not, like, like have just talk over it rather than cut to. Look at this fun. Look at the funny part of this video. Hmm. This channel it ends up being less comedy as it goes on, though. I feel, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, especially with like Morrowind. Like, I'm just, I'm making quips, but they're not, like, laugh-out-loud funny quips, you know what I mean? Like, they're just quips. It's just, like, some, you know, watching a sarcastic person play Morrowind is basically what's happening here. I wonder if that's good or bad. It's just, like, it's a lot less wacky. It used to be more wacky. And the wacky is what gets the viewers, you know what I mean? Like, the, like the New Vegas was super wacky, like, all the time. Um... But just every once in a while, there'd be something really, there'd be something clever in there. Like, every once in a while, I would get really, like, pleased with myself. No! No, Clay Man. You're not allowed in. The store is closed. Occupied. This water closet is occupied. Um, I think the one thing, one of the things that kind of stands out is. What is it? Some, I, I made a joke about murder she wrote in like episode 5 of New Vegas and I was super pleased with myself. I can't even remember how it went now. Oh well. Long story short, cultural references are are not funny. Um, <laughs> no. Long story short, cultural references are great if you get the cultural reference. Um, but if you can manage to be clever without them then it's better. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's continue with Takobi's criticisms. Um, the whole charm of the scene, the L.A. Noir running into uh, running into the person scene, comes from the contrast between your playful fun with physics and your genuine dismay when you suddenly hear bones cracking. The contrast makes it charming. Standing alone in the accident not only doesn't look charming, but it, but it frankly, even a bit like a hysteric, let's do senseless stuff reaction a la PewDiePie. Yeah, you're, you're right about that. Um, and th like I said, like I, while I was editing it, that, that's what I was thinking. Already, every clip is longer than the clips that were there before, and those those uh, those channel videos kind of have to be reasonably short. 
just by their just by their nature. Like people don't come to a channel and expect. Like people don't come to so people don't watch a channel. From what I understand, people won't. If people are new to you and you're not if you're not grabbing them instantly. You, it's it's like you, you have to you have to give them something short and sweet and just the video being long can be a deterrent. I know it's a deterrent for me, especially with a let's play where if I'm if I watch like you know every once in a while I'll try and watch a let's play. I will watch the first if I've never seen it before or I've never seen the person before. I will watch the first minute, and if I'm not if I'm not captivated within that first minute, I just I, I can't do it. And I, and I just give up on it. And so that's like, that's kind of where my thought, and also the like YouTube guideline, there's a creator's guideline that tells you not to make them too long, but, um, which kind of keeps in my head where it shouldn't, like, it should be short. It should be to the point where, uh, like, a minute and a half is like, it like, should be like max. And the problem is, is that whole segment where I start, where I get in the car and I, start doing the thing is like a minute and a half, right? And that's, you know, like how I was mentioning before, that's kind of the issue. You are, this is a fucking snake. It's an Oso snake. Um, that is, that. yeah, that's kind of the issue with, with all the clips. Um, anyway, the horse horse part would have looked better if I'd put it right at the end of my whole clip, directly before the final cut, just like you did in your LPs. I would have solicited your touch for really a funny randomness, which would have made, which made viewers more interested in yourself, at least in my opinion. Um, yeah, probably. That horse thing. That horse clip. That's wacky. It's so wacky. You guys should just do shit like that all the time. Uh, C, and finally, spoke a bit too fast, and you sounded kind of bored and lackluster, at least in my opinion. I think the issue, like, the issue with me talking about, or being, you know, quote, both bored and lackluster, I was just like, it's more, I felt like it was more representative of what the channel was. Because the, the big, the, the thought, the thing that happened in the first one was I felt like I was being, like, a used car salesman, and that's just not how I talk. Like, that's just, like, I don't, I'd, like, like, I don't think even in any of the videos I talk like that, like, oh, welcome to this channel, my name is Ryan, and today you are going to do blah, 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 I am such a great person, and you're going to love everything about me, and everything is great, and also, I'm a hamburger, and et cetera, et cetera, and I'm so, yeah, how about you subscribe? Like, like, it's just like, no, that's just, that's not right, like, that's not, it's, it's, it's just weird. Like that's just not. It's just not who I. That's not what you're gonna get if you if you subscribe to the channel. Like you're gonna get. You're gonna get internet people videos like this where I talk like I talk in that video, which is a little bit Bart sounding. Um, a little bit lack. Yeah, definitely lackluster. Um and like I think that's just like it's more tr it's more kind of like true I just like I'm I'm let, let me feel this way. I'm very happy with the way that I'm very happy with the way my voice comes off in that channel video because it's accurate rather than because it's forcing people to like it's it's kind of tricking people into like bait and switch like oh you're going to get such and such you're going to get a YouTube personality you're going to get this and this and this, but no, you're just, that's not, you're going to get exactly what it says on the tin. You're going to get a guy that sounds a little bit bored. Uh, but, but occasionally cracks himself up, which is a little bit sad. But yeah, so that's, that's that. Um, alright. So, we've gone through internet people comments, which you should probably post one if you've watched this. Um, but let's see what else we got. It's all sorts of fun comments people have left. Let's scroll down and look. Oh, more some more people are asking me to email them a copy of Typing Tutor 5 for DOS. Um, Cobra, Cobra Gladiator, that's not quite right, um, has been posting all sorts of fun stuff. Actually, no, I'll look at the comments for you found a YouTube channel. That's not a bad idea. Uh, Cool Matt, cool Matt, you're my favorite. Um, says I'm so old. DD 
CVS 2012 suggests I put a boob on the icon to get more hits. It's a fantastic idea. Um, then I suggested I should dress up in a bikini and put that as a thumbnail. That's also a great idea. I don't know why I haven't done that already. Probably because I don't think they make bikinis that fit me. We're talking like I wouldn't I wouldn't even fit in the ones that you put on cows. Um, not literal cows, just really fat people. For some reason, Kumatora started to feel feverish. Whoosh, whoosh. This is actually a clever, clever thing. Um, I always thought this was kind of neat. Whenever you're about to get a new, like how it happened in Earthbound, was you just got new um, PSI spells, just like as you leveled up, it's like, oh, you learned and such and such. But this one, um, in this game, you become feverish, and then you lose your you lose your PSI powers for a little bit, and then you get them back, and then you gain a new power. So I think I think the one that she's getting now is healing, but I'm not quite sure about that. Whatever it is, um, I definitely should put boobs on all my icons. Oh, does anyone like the, the thumbnails? Because I've been doing thumbnails lately. I think it's just like a super easy thing. Throw up a thumbnail. People can recognize me because I'm the only one that uses a slightly weirdly stretched version of um, Liberation Sans fonts, man. Oh god, I love fonts. Helvetica, Franklin, Gothic. Oh man, fonts that designers used to like, but now they don't for some reason. Instead, they're on stupid fonts like Tertillium. Oh god, Tertillium. Oh, look. Yeah, look, I got the healing spell and thunder. Um, check out this button I used to fast forward. It makes running around super fun. Uh, the Lee Weeaboo says, fuck. Everyone I watch has a damn channel trailer now. Time to bite the bullet and make a channel trailer. This is gonna be shit. Did you make one yet? You don't appear to have made a channel trailer yet. If anyone's curious, Lee Weeaboo, youtube.com slash 1337W334B00, make some Gmod videos that don't get any views. Um, I don't know, they're Gmod videos. You like wacky Gmod stuff? Pretty good. I don't know. For there's for some reason, for some reason, I'm subscribed to Lee Weeboo, and they popped up one day, and I watched all of them. And okay, this is not this is not related. But there's there was a guy that posted that posted a bunch of comments on here. His name is Pure Bear, um, and he um, posted a comment on. Or he's shared with me or something. I don't know how, how it is. It was a connection. This guy named Necrotaco, who uploads the worst videos I've ever seen on YouTube. Um, I just I mostly just write, I mostly just think because I went to Lee Weeboo's channel just now and he has there's like no views on anything and it reminds me of Necrotaco. This is youtubecom slash Necrotaco1. If you want to watch the worst things you have ever seen on the internet, you should go here. Um, he literally has a video where he just sings along poorly to the subtitled. So if anyone, it's, I imagine someone's seen this. It's um the it's a it's a uh, Tazon Day, the guy who did Chocolate Rain. It kind of has a like 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 reasonably okay YouTube channel because he does have a nice voice. Um, he, like, Tazon Day did a cover of the Skyrim theme song, singing it in, you know, your your dragon language. What's the name of that language? Is it, like, Dova language or something stupid like that? I imagine there's a name for it. Anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter if Skyrim is dumb. Um, yeah, so he, he, he sang, and it's actually really good, like, because his voice is so, like, kind of deep and, like, like, heavy. It, it really matches the style. And how he like read and how he redid all of the uh, all of the the orchestration to it and whatnot was good. Um, oh fuck! How am I running long again? This was half an hour. Anyway, takes on dated a song where he sings to that, um, and he does it. It's great. And it's actually a really good video. Um, but then Necrotaco decided to sing along to that. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it was so bad because he got all the words wrong, even though there were subtitles. It was so painful. Anyway, I just wanted to complain about someone with a terrible YouTube channel. If anyone has a terrible YouTube channel they'd like to share, please post it in the comments. Thanks for watching this half an hour long video where I'm playing Mother 3 in the background and talking about nonsense. Um, and don't forget to flap your arms.